In this quick tip, I'm going to show you how to remove wind noise from video footage in Adobe Premiere Pro using the Adobe Audition sound editing software that comes with Premiere Pro. So if you got Premiere Pro, you have Audition, and we're gonna use those two and get rid of some nasty, rumbly wind noise. And this is what it sounds like. So I'm back on Burma Trail, which is the main, that's like a fire road, I guess goes all the way so I recorded this with a GoPro 3 plus and I had it in the frame case I didn't realize how it's not that windy out but I didn't realize that it would pick up that much wind noise so when I got back I looked at the foot I was like oh man I gotta take out the wind noise out of every single one of these shots but it turns out it wasn't as bad as I thought it was gonna be so it's really pretty simple the two programs work really well together so here's how you do it this is the audio footage the audio track here in our video track so if I right click with a I'm on a Mac or command click on the audio track you can send your audio track to Adobe Audition so here we go edit clip in Adobe Audition so it'll launch audition and here you see here's our, our waveform up here and then here is the let's see the view is the um, spectral frequency display so if you don't see this view in here just turn that on right up here under view so you can see your um, your spectral frequency and s this frequency all of this yellow it goes from really really lows to your to your highs you know frequency and you can select which is great you can just select the frequency you want to listen to so if I select that and play it back We're hearing our really, really low frequencies and you can delete it. So I'm gonna hit the delete key. And as you can tell, the yellow, the bright yellow is gone. So now if I click in here in this window, it will deselect everything and we can play back what we, uh, what we did. So I'm back on Burma Trail, which is the main, that's like a fire road, I guess. <laughs> It goes all the way back to up to where I... So we quickly got rid of the really, really low rumbly stuff that's just uh, really, really annoying. Now, if you want to, you can go in and uh, do a little EQ. Um, let's see, filter EQ, parametric EQ. Um, there are all these presets in here. You can go ahead and make your... Pick one of these free presets and then edit it or do whatever you want. So let's go ahead and do vocal enhancer. Well, that's way too much. Let's see, we don't need that much treble in there because this is a little bit better so we've got a i think i i think i created this as i took the high pass filter and enabled that so if we don't enable it see so there's our these are lows and these are our highs so low frequency high frequency so this just takes out it kills even more that low buzz that we don't want or that low rumble that we don't want and then here's our highs so let's play this back started came from up there where that's the person standing up on that hill we went over that little ridge down the other side across let's go back to the beginning so i'm back on burma trail which is the main that's like a fire road i guess this it goes all much. the way back to up to where i started came from up there where that's the person standing up on that hill we went over that little ridge down the other side across sounds pretty good to me so at this point we will uh, there's our parametric EQ I could put a compressor on here but we're not gonna mess with that right now uh, so now if I click apply it will apply that EQ setting to that audio file now if you click save you have to click save before you go back to Premiere Pro so if we click save here now we go back to Premiere Pro there it is we will see down here it says audio extracted wave so what it did was it just replaced it you can go back to your original audio if you need to but right here is our extracted audio file so let's see what this sounds like now so i'm back on burma trail which is the main that's like a fire road i guess it goes all the way back to up to where I started. So we managed to get rid of a ton of the nasty wind noise and sounds much better. And I did an entire video this way. It didn't take as long as I thought it was going to take when I was editing it. Like I said, oh man, it's going to take forever, but it wasn't so bad. So you can rescue that awful audio footage, especially from the GoPro, which has it's still really poor audio quality, I think, even with the, the 3 Plus version. But anyway, so it's usable, and don't get discouraged if you film something and it sounds terrible. You can always fix it in Adobe uh, Audition if you have it. And that's my quick tip for today. Good luck.